Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rex and this is part 4 of my Shadow of the Colossus playthrough or walkthrough or let's play, it doesn't really matter <laughs> it's all the same but we're on our way to face the fourth Colossus one of uh, my favorite actually it's a pretty cool one you guys will see but let's call her or her, her horse with the funny name, come on man Alright. Oh jeez. Alright. Now let's see where this one is actually located. Alright. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. We see the the opening right there, so there's not much to it. But uh, while in the road, I'll continue into what I was saying in the last episode, a little bit of a background for the game. Um, in this sacred valley, or this forbidden, I guess, area in, in this imaginary world, um, there exists this creature, this entity called Dormin. And legends say that he has the ability to revive the dead. So this, that's the reason why we're here, and um, yeah. the, it doesn't say much about the nature of this yeah. entity. It's just that it's some sort of yeah. uh, that is dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here we see the cinematic telling us that we are in the right place, and we see the the meadow here, just like. Dorming said that we would. So we're definitely in the right spot. But yeah, Dorming has the ability to to revive the dead. But they don't. We don't. We don't know much about the nature of him. We just know that he's dangerous, uh, as far as the the lore says, and that it's a uh, it's just an overall bad creature. But we kind of need him. Now before I start a battle, um, let me just show a little bit of how of what's inside here. The Colossus is not actually inside here, but it's gonna form part of how we're gonna kill him. So I just wanted to show you uh, just what's inside. Um, Dorman said that these were graves, so I can guess that this is sort of a mausoleum of sorts. Even though there's not really and there's n no coffins or no entrance to the middle of it. It's just a weird structure. So let, let's let's call Agro. And there you go. Oh, whoa. <laughs> but there you see the Colossus. Let's um get on the horse before we actually trigger him. So we can run away. There you go. And there you go. The fourth Colossus. Now this one looks really cool. Has a rib cage and everything. <laughs> and uh, this one's a little tricky. He's actually gonna go for us uh, and try to attack us aggressively. So uh, I su suggest not dilly dallying. What we have to do though is um, have him come to the top of the crib, mausoleum, grave, whatever you can call this. Um, just on top of this. Now there are there are different ways to get on top of him, two ways mainly. Um, but they all involve grabbing um onto his um, his little thread locks or whatever you call that. Um, because we cannot grab from any part of his legs or anything, and uh, otherwise we cannot take him down and grab. So this can, we're gonna have to do something special for this guy. Now we have to wait until he gets. Gotta call him up. There you go. He's coming up. Okay.
uh, as you can probably notice, they they're getting trickier and trickier um, as we go. The higher the Colossus is, the trickier it is to to find a way to get on top of them. But he's coming, so that's good. Uh, now that he's coming, we're gonna go down here and here inside. Now, um, he's gonna try to 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 put us out. He's gonna try to stomp on the on the mausoleum and try to try to destroy it so to, to push us out. But obviously we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna stay in. Eventually what he's gonna do is that he's gonna try to look below the mausoleum to see if he can see us. At which point his head is gonna be um to the reach of our jump. So that we can grab until his, uh, I guess, beard or threadlocks, however you want to call that. We just have to be patient. This is a, it's a waiting game at this point. There you go. You see that he's, he's looking down. We can jump and grab. Now it's just a matter of hiking up. gotta be careful not to jump at the wrong time if you do then he might just um, throw you off so you gotta be careful on that you see that he um if you let go while he's doing this you you will fall down to his back there there's an easy way to get up to get back up here again but we would like to avoid any unnecessary falls as much as possible even though it's probably it's probably going to happen it's just you just see my stamina bar is our circle is whoa you see that's what it does so you gotta be really careful but our, our stamina is running low so we'll see if I get a shot too no he's not gonna let us That's the problem. Um, I'll see you guys back up there in a minute. And welcome back. <laughs> it took me a while to get up again. I had some mild issues trying to grab from his beard or again, whatever you want to call that. And now having some trouble getting up. There you go. Uh, this is not good, man. There you go. Now, um, you can just get yourself in here to try to rest. Um, he won't. He will try to knock you down, but it's really easy to. There, you see, it's really easy to not fall down once you're on his back. Now, what you have to do is hit him here. It will hurt hurt him a little bit, but it's not really the point. Um, what this does is that it will make his head go down which is what you need there you go to get on to, on top of his head again so that's good now we're gonna hit him a couple of times this is his only real weak spot um, he doesn't have he doesn't have any more um, I guess the difficulty is just Figuring out how to get off and then uh, figuring out his other weak point to get to this one. So it's pretty simple. As you see, our her horse there <laughs> doing some funny stuff. But um, that's the fourth Colossus for you guys. Not too shabby. And here we go. Get hit by the black thing again. No. If you noticed, um, what comes out of us when that black thing hits us looks like the blood that appears when we hit those colossus. So it's probably made of the same material. You can you can probably tell that the the whole black blood and the black thing are probably all related. And the shadowy figures, like the whole black concept is 
is linked together in this game. Save complete. And now we have four shadowy figures. As the fourth idol goes down. So that's pretty cool. And we get a little cinematic. It's nothing too fancy, but it's fairly important because it's uh, it denotes a checkpoint in our quest. Now with the fourth colossus down, um, you can tell that our character is is a little dirtier. If you see on his face, on his clothing, and his on uh, on his hands. I'll give you a quick look before after this. Thy next foe is... It cast a colossal shadow across the misty lake. As it soars through the sky, to reach it is no easy task. So this one flies above a lake. So this is gonna be pretty tough as you can imagine to actually get on top of a flying bird on top of a lake. But here you can see, take a look at the face of Warden. Um, he's actually dirtier looking. He looks uh, just overall more tired and, and dirtier. And uh, this denotes a checkpoint in our story. It's gonna get worse as we go. You'll get to see that as we kill more Colossus. But with that, uh, I present to you guys episode 4 of Shadow of the Colossus. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys next time for part 5.